I've got to walk by this goose, and they're super mean. Well, I'm going to stay here. Yeah, so you don't have to go by the goose. I'm not scared of the goose, Daniel. You should be. They're really mean. I will kick that goose right in the head. No, it'll bite you first. I will kick it. The sun was out and shining and the weather was close to perfect. So the What's Your Story team decided that for this week, we'd look for our story in the Eunice City Park. How are you guys today? Would you want to sit down and, and have a chat? Any either of you guys no, sir, I'm good. interested in being featured? No, sir, I'm good. <laughs> that baby might have a very good story. Yeah, he might have one. He looks like an old fisherman. Would you be interested today? Oh, not much. I just retired and moved here. Do you mind sitting and chatting about it? We'll put a mic, you can keep on fishing. I'll ask you questions from the bank and... Okay, you can ask me all the questions you want. And lucky for us, Mr. Robert Reed, who was out enjoying fairly recent retirement, was interested. It's a little boring at times, but uh, <laughs> just gotta find another hobby to do. You know, so trying, trying to get me a boat together right now. So hopefully I can get out there and do a little bit more fishing. Not a native to Eunice. He followed his heart there from Sulphur. I was living in Sulphur and uh, met my fiance and backed up and moved over here. And changing one fishing spot for another. Of course, Sulphur is a lot of place to fish, but it got a little bit too busy over there with all the construction, you know. While he calls Eunice home now and Sulphur before that, he hasn't always called Louisiana home. My dad always had me out fishing uh, up in North Dakota. I uh, grew up in the Dakotas. Robert found his way to New Orleans with the Coast Guard. First got in Louisiana, I started going all over these bridges. Chafalai and everything, and I'm going to New Orleans and I'm wondering, where's this, <laughs> where's this New Orleans at? I mean, uh, all I seen was water around, you know? A definite change of pace from his previous station. Station in Duluth, Minnesota. I think it's the coldest place on earth. We broke ice in uh, Mackinac, uh, Sault Ste. Marie Pass and all that up there. While there, he worked his way through waters made famous both by songs and folklore. I got on it six months after the Gordon Lightfoot went out and then our ship took him, uh, the Woodrush out of uh, Duluth, Minnesota, took him up to see where the site was. And that's where he wrote the song, Edmund Fitzgerald. And once he got down here, had the kind of slight culture shock that one might expect. Yeah, they call them crawdaddies, down here crawfish, but when I first saw that, I went, what the heck are they doing? <laughs> he stayed in Louisiana after leaving the Coast Guard and living one of the lessons that he'd learned from his dad. I did electrical, mechanical, gas, and so I got to get familiar with all kinds of, you know, trades. Yeah. You know, daddy always told me, well, I have, son, I always have more than one trade. That's good advice. <laughs> Very good advice. Now he's enjoying life without work, so we left him there while the fish were still biting. There's one. A little small, I'll throw him back. Taking a quick break from the fishing to send us to St. Landry Parish. In Eunice, I'm Daniel Phillips, KTC TV3.